There is something comforting about being tied up. Like when you were a baby and your mother strapped you in the car seat. She wanted you to be safe. It was an act of love. I was more of a dancing kid than a singing kid. I mean, I sang in school choirs and I sang in school musicals, but I was much more interested in dancing than singing. Just because I'm presented life in a certain way doesn't mean I do all these things. It's just something I choose to express. I like that you have 4 minutes to zero in on something and evoke a specific feeling and take people on some sort of journey. I think there probably was a time when I was less provocative. That's when I was married. You realize that having a number one record and being loved and adored isn't the most important thing in the world. But at the same time, I don't have a problem with it. Ever since my daughter was born I feel the fleetingness of time. And I don't want to waste it on getting the perfect lip color. Being poor in Africa is something people in America can't relate to. Part of the challenge is bringing that reality to people and moving them. You have to arouse compassion. A lot of places I go are dangerous, like Tel Aviv or Rio, but that never stops me from going there and putting on a show. I have good security. I don't worry about that. If we can elect an African American as president, we can support gay marriage. Defeat Prop 8. We will not give up. I actually always try to have a moment in my show where I can just lay down on stage and talk to people for a little while. What else is there for me to conquer? Hopefully my ego. How will I know when I've succeeded? When I stop caring what anyone thinks? If any of you have seen my shows, you know that I don't skimp on them and the same is true for the gym. We spend what it takes to make a globally first-class gym. The idea of service to humanity, putting yourself in situations where people have much less than you do, puts life in perspective. I used to believe in the pretty pictures that were all around me, but now I know for sure that I was stupid. Having children made me go down a road of serious introspection and self-examination. I think it's informed and hopefully enhanced my creativity. There's one thing you can't download and that's a live performance. And I know how to put on a show, and enjoy performing, and I'll always have that. Suffering is a big informer, a big catalyst for creation. You take your sadness, your despair, your sense of injustice, and you put it in your work. I do think that the birth of my daughter was sort of a rebirth for me. It made me look at life in a completely new way. And that made me appreciate life in a way I don't think I ever had before.